Having a baby can change your life, but our next guest says it dramatically changed her eyesight. I started having vision problems in elementary school, and I've been wearing glasses and contacts ever since. Since first grade, my eyesight has gotten progressively worse. After my second child, it went from a negative seven to over a negative nine. My eyesight is so bad that without my glasses or contact lenses, I cannot see anything. I cannot drive, I cannot read. I wear my contacts 24 seven. However, my contacts have bothered me so much lately. Itchiness, dryness, I've had to actually switch back to wearing my glasses. And also, my fiance and I would like to have another child but I'm worried that a third pregnancy, my eyes may get even worse and maybe I'll end up blind. I need to know if getting pregnant would be more of a risk to my eyes and also if I am a good candidate for LASIK eye surgery. We sent Ryan to see ophthalmologist Dr. Brian boxer Walkler. Hi Ryan. Ryan came in today because frankly, she's really concerned about her eyes. What's it like when you wake up in the middle of the night your child's calling for you and you don't have your contacts or glasses on. I sleep in them so I can see. As an eye doctor, I start to cringe because I know how risky that is to the eyes. It's really dangerous and can cause a serious infection. So we're gonna see if she's a candidate for LASIK. The three main things that we use to determine if somebody's a candidate for LASIK is number one, is their prescription in range. Number two is the cornea shape because your cornea has to be 100% healthy. And number three is the cornea thick enough for LASIK. So I'm gonna review everything and let you know if you're a candidate. Ryan joins us now as well as Dr. Brian boxer Walkler in our audience. I wanna thank you both for being here. What are you most afraid of with what's been going on with your vision? I'm scared to go blind. Um, being a mom with two young boys, it's a struggle helping them with their homework. And every day I wonder if as they get older, well, I have the vision to see them graduate. So obviously you are really anxious to see, and no pun intended there, but to hear what can possibly be done. Because I, I think the other big part of this is, and you deal with moms all the time who maybe want to have another baby, but usually it's there, there's some concern with the actual birth yeah. process. You're the first one we've had on our show where the concern is actually your vision. And Dr. Boxer Walkler, I'm curious, does pregnancy often affect eyesight? Is that something that women need to be worried about? It's pretty uncommon that that would happen. But the reason it does is because during pregnancy, there's just like a tsunami of hormones in the body. And so the eye actually has hormone receptors. And sometimes those hormones can cause the eye to become more elongated, which would make it more nearsighted, which is what sounds like happened here with Ryan. So obviously you're anxious to hear what Dr. Brian found, right? Yes, so, I am. So yeah. doc, she's anxious. What, what did you find in the consult? Well, first of all, the good news is we didn't find any serious process going on. There was no eye disease per se that was causing vision problems. We found you had a very high level of nearsightedness. And that's the reason why you have to wear contacts and glasses all the time. That's why you're pushing the envelope by sleeping in your contacts, which, like I explained, makes me cringe, <laughs> right? Um, the second thing that makes me cringe is when people lick them and put them back in their eyes. Oh. <laughs> but what we determined was because you're so nearsighted, unfortunately, you're not a candidate for laser eye surgery. And the reason is, is because laser eye surgery flattens the cornea to treat the nearsightedness. For lower prescriptions, it works fantastic. But when you're above minus six, seven, you're overly flattening that cornea, and I personally don't recommend doing the laser surgery when you're that nearsighted because it's just pushing the cornea beyond what it should be in terms of shape. And hearing that, what, what's your reaction? Um, that's very hard to hear. I've struggled for so long with my eyes, and that was just something that I was hoping to get done to be able to correct my vision um, in hopes to 
not have to worry about waking up in the middle of the night, searching for my glasses because I can't see. Um, my kid's coming to wake me up, but I can't figure out where my glasses are and I can't see. So I, I, it, it's hard to hear that. Okay, but you may not be a candidate for laser surgery, but that doesn't mean that nothing can be done. Does it, Doc? Good news. <laughs> so you are, Brian, a perfect, amazing candidate for another procedure called the implantable lens which will be able to correct all of your nearsightedness. Yes. So I'll explain how this lens works. I love this procedure because it's about as quick as LASIK. It's about a 10 minute procedure per eye. Typically no pain because we use a great numbing gel and it has a one day recovery, just like laser eye surgery. And I have to say, best of all, have you ever had a filling for a cavity? Yes. Okay, so you have a little implant in your tooth right now, but you don't even feel it. This implantable lens is just like that. You don't even feel it, don't even know it's there, except you can see really good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, we're, we're so excited for you, and there's even a better element to this. Ryan, I'm gonna do this for you. Um, I'm excited. Um, I can't wait for the day to come that I can open up my eyes and be able to see my children looking at me. Yeah. I'm being able to do day-to-day -day things and not struggle at dri with driving at night, not being able to see. So I'm very excited and I want to thank you. Congratulations. Very well. Ryan is back today along with eye surgeon Dr. <laughs> Brian Boxer Walkler. I'm going to ask you out of the gate. How is your vision today? It's amazing. Um, <laughs> it's so clear, it's great, it's great. So you had the procedure and everything worked out great. It did, it did. Um, it was such a quick procedure and as soon as it finished and I opened up my eyes, right away I was able to An just tell. An instant help. change, yeah. like putting a pair of glasses on. That's amazing, so after the procedure you can see better than ever before even with your corrective lenses. So. Everything, your your day-to-day -day tasks, everything's in focus? Yes, well, you know, as soon as we finished the procedure, um, once I opened my eyes, I noticed that there was like a palm tree at the top of the, the <laughs> ceiling. And as soon as I opened my eyes, that was the first thing I noticed, and it just looked so crisp. And then moving on just to my day-to-day -day activities um, for work, I'm on a computer all day, and I went to start my day up, and my computer is usually on 125, 150% maximize and I was able to put that back down to 100%. Um, just driving, I'm able to see better. Um, going to my children's basketball games, it's just, it's so clear and you can I- see when the ball goes through the hoop now, right? <laughs> yeah. And those, those moments matter. And I, I love how when one procedure doesn't necessarily work, you're able to find one that does. So this lens, is this something now that, that Ryan will have in place and it will last her for an indefinite period of time. How, what, what's her future like with this? It's amazing and you know we've been using literally that word a lot here but it's really true because the lens doesn't break down, it doesn't degrade, it's gonna outlast her and this is an amazing lens for people who are nearsighted, particularly those who have really high prescriptions and I mean I've had women afterwards tell me that they like the vision with this lens better than sex. <laughs> Well, now, I mean, now wait a minute. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, it was one person. That was what? one person. Now, I'm curious why we don't hear more about yeah. this because it, this seems like a great option for a yeah. fair number well, of people. Because more people are doing LASIK, right? And in, and in her case, that wasn't her best option or an option at all. And what is the recovery process like? After it was done, I, I went home, I went to sleep, I woke up in the morning. And I didn't even feel like I had anything done other than the fact that I was able to see. And no pain, um, I just, I'm putting in my eye drops that I'm supposed to be putting in and it, it's been great. And so I, is eye drops for life then or is this just? No, just about so a, she's, a week she has of... lens in there, doesn't even know it, can see very well with them. This is awesome. <laughs> 
I'm so happy for you. Thank you. How long did the procedure take, Ryan? The procedure's typically 10 minutes, like Ryan just said, typically painless. As you would think from LASIK, right? Very similar, sits up, already was reading the clock on the wall. Mm -hmm. And also, a lot of people might get a little bit queasy because it's like, oh, this is an implant. But if you have like a filling for a cavity, you actually have an implant in your tooth, you don't even feel it. This ICL is the same thing. Like, do you feel the lens? No. When would you even know to ask for this versus more traditional LASIK? If you're myopic or nearsighted and your prescription is more than minus four or minus five, then ask your doctor about the Vizian ICL or just research it on your own and find somebody near you who does it too. Well, you have a very happy patient, Ryan. Thanks so much. Thank Dr. you. Walker, appreciate